Look at this YouTube. This is my new my new truck, new to me. I traded reluctantly traded my Kenworth the 1945 log truck for for this old old truck which it's a it's definitely a definitely a trade up with uh, power steering and it's a cat 3176 engine the guy I got it from, this has an air start, air starter on it, and I'm uh, making a YouTube video, George, a and uh, he couldn't get it to work, so it's a, uh, what is it, uh, January 1st, and so New Year's Eve night, I stayed up until 1 a.m., and got this thing where it'd start. And there it is, 3176. And this is my favorite part. Power steering. <laughs> Actually, not my favorite part's the cat engine, but it's a base model. I don't know the outfit that the guy I got it from bought it from. I don't I don't know who this actually was. I can't quite read. I think it's something like Titan something on the door but 3176 um, air start I'll show it for you got decent steer tires drivers are a little low you know only things missing is these little door panels and pretty nice chuck he threw in a starter but I don't think that starter will fit he said it will fit, but it came off an 8V71, so the 318 Detroit. But um, it's all there. Heater, defrost, that's that's nice. Um, air start, I'll fire it up for you. It's seven speed. It's a Spicer seven speed. Aluminum tanks. I think it has about 40 gallons total in them, fuel. But what I got this for was... I'm thinking about making it a service truck. Pull off the fifth wheel. Oh, there's the battery box he gave. He threw in the battery box as well because it's the air start, so I can get rid of that. But thinking about because it's got the box on. If I took the box off my service truck, I mean, as you guys know, my service truck's got a rod knock, just not worth keeping. My box stopped just shy, about right here. And that gave me a nice little platform to put a welder or something if I set it back just to fuzz. So, I'll start it up for you guys and show you. It runs pretty good. And it's really cool here in that air starter. So, key on. <laughs> And then, uh, see. There she goes. But yeah, none of that worked when they got it. And it wasn't that big a deal to get it to get it fixed. But the thing is, I'm not a big fan of air starters because if you let them sit for a couple days, usually they won't start without a compressor. Another bad thing about this truck is it has wedge brakes on it. If you guys are familiar with wedge brakes, they suck. So, they're supposedly self-adjusting, but these ones seem to be out of adjustment. So I'll probably have to take them apart and clean them up. But I still got quite a bit of 
material left on the brake shoes. So I think they just need cleaned up. Yeah, it says, see if I can read it in the door. Titan Freight Systems. And it says Titan.com. So it's the Aeromax L9000. Probably to blow out, rip, probably rip the bracket or however it's hooked together up on a steer tire at one time. It seems to be a really nice truck. I, I, I have high hopes for this. Insurance on them isn't that expensive. It seems to be really well taken care of for a local truck 432,000 miles it says doesn't smoke a, a bit I mean they're about electronic controlled engines so we don't really expect to smoke but no air leaks uh, at least not that I can tell I brought it home last night shut it off and when I came out this morning it still had I think about 85 pounds in it and that set all night so, uh, like I said, I'm not a fan of the air start, but honestly, I got so many projects over here with all this stuff that I'll probably just leave the air starter on it for now. I am going to make sure that that starter, that starter, uh, won't fit because if it does fit, I definitely might want to keep it since I got the battery box and the starter, and it'd be really easy to. You know, just put an ignition switch in here and then a push button. Um, has AC, the belt's not on the compressor. You know, I don't know anything about that. The guy I bought it from didn't know anything about that. Um, headlights. This is just clearance lights and dash lights. Uh, that is... Uh, clearance lights and then if I run it up it says blink it just it just shuts off your clearance lights like but momentary I'm not sure what that's all about up that's my heated mirrors and then I got my dome light and then that's my backup light cruise control he said does work the switch I have zip tied out of the way my pedal the build he tore this dash apart trying to figure out why this wouldn't work. It took me only a little bit, I, a couple hours, and I had this working. But he hasn't, you know, didn't, couldn't figure out what was going on. And this dash was apart, and I think he broke the. There's a little bracket that holds a switch for your clutch pedal. Or maybe it was your. Yeah, because your clutch. How does that work? Maybe it was my brake pedal. Anyways, I thought there was one for the clutch pedal too, but so he said that the that the cruise control works. I don't know. It, base model, you know, manual everything, manual windows, no radio. There's obviously a spot for a CB. Uh, no tachometer. There's no gauge to tell me, you know, how much brake pressure I'm applying, but there is my air gauges, oil pressure, let's see the engines, it, I think they might have a thermostat stuck open, it blows warm air but it's not blowing hot air, and the temp has never got up past probably 130 on this, um, but I did drive it around today just for fun, and so the engine is fairly warm, but it starts just the same when it's warm, but you know, what I got 30 pounds at idle, alternator seems to be charging at 13 volts, 13.2, so, anyways, this is, this is the new truck, so, pretty excited, I'm actually going to take it to work tomorrow, 
I uh, I got my Class A CDL and uh, finally, and I think I'm gonna take the sucker to work tomorrow, just because it'd be kind of fun. I got three day trip permit on her, and I only work oh 15 miles from home now, and uh, I work for Chilton Logging and. And uh, Craig's going to put me in a log truck for a month and then I'll probably end up going to a dump truck for a few months until he feels comfortable with putting me in a log truck for the first time. But anyways, it's got nice fuel tanks, no dents or nothing and steps and catwalk and everything and exhaust, no exhaust leaks, exa oh well. There is an exhaust leak right there, but other than that, no actual exhaust leaks. Just, you know, chain hangers. So that's the new truck. I just thought I'd post a video since I haven't actually posted a video in a while. So it's not quite log logging related, but I'll probably make a service truck out of it and. Uh, then it'll be logging related. So, talk to you later.